course, all eyes are on Florida this morning as we're tracking Hurricane Adalia. Right now, winds at 90 miles an hour. This is now uh, a Category 1 hurricane. These uh, storms tend to weaken as they make their way on shore. And joining us now live from Bel Air, Florida, is Rebecca Castro. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Brian. It seems like only in Florida you can have sunshine just hours after a major hurricane hit the state. Hurricane Adalia is moving quickly. It's already reaching the southern parts of Georgia. But here in Florida, the threat is not over. Officials always say that the most dangerous time of a storm can also be in those hours afterwards where people think that the threat is over, so they start going out on the roads. But we are still seeing major flooding in the Clearwater St. Pete Beach area. Those beaches actually blocked off. You can't access them at this point. The access roads were shut off early this morning while Adalia was making landfall. Those roads there are completely impassable with major flooding and it could still be hours until we see that sub uh, flooding subside. We know that hundreds of thousands of people are without power and Rebecca, we just learned that two people have died in this hurricane. Uh, what are we expecting here in the coming hours as this continues to advance northeast? The biggest concern is always those people that chose not to evacuate. You're seeing the crazy flooding videos uh, along Florida's Gulf Coast, especially in the Big Bend area where it made landfall. But even along the beaches here, there were people that chose not to evacuate. And it could, it could still be hours until they're able to get emergency vehicles into those areas. Florida National Guard and the Coast Guard, they were prepared for this ahead of time. As soon as they are able to safely get to people, they are going to start making those water rescues. Um, so people, just, you know, they need to be calling 911 if they're unsafe, but it might, they might have to wait a few hours until help can get to them. All right, stay safe out there. Rebecca Castro joining us live in Florida with Fox Weather. Thank you so much. Guys, back to you.